Hello and welcome to this tutorial showing you how to MIDI hack your Arduino Uno. Uh, the first thing to do is go to the Salisbury Synths website, MIDI app Megatron downloads, and then download Atmel Flip for Windows, which is now downloading. And now install it. And now it's a good idea to uh, open up Device Manager for the rest of the process. And you'll see at the moment I've got a standard Arduino Uno which is listed there. So the next thing to do is with your Arduino Uno you're going to take anything metallic like a bit of wire or anything like that. I'm going to use it at the end of this screwdriver and short together the left two pins of this header hit just here. And you can see if I do that the light gives a little flash and more importantly Arduino has now disappeared from the COM list and at the top at Atmel USB devices is the Atmega 16U2. Now occasionally you may find that that is just appears as unknown device or it's not listed as, as that or it's got an exclamation mark by it. If it doesn't say at Mega 16 u 2 right click on it and go to update driver software, browse my computer, let me pick from a list of devices, have disk and now you're going to point it towards where the uh, drivers are which is in uh, program files, at mail, flip, USB, and then just in there is fine, it will find it, click OK, pick the 16U2, next, it will install it, and then you will definitely have that Mega 16U2 appearing at the top there. Next up is Open Up Flip, which opens, click on the first icon, and make sure this is set to at Mega 16U2 there, click OK, then click on the next icon and click USB, click open and now we go back to the Salisbury Synths website and download the MIDI firmware. So that saved the MIDI firmware. Now go file load hex file and then click uh, the erase icon to erase the chip and then click the download to download that firmware to the chip and finally click start application close it and now now we have to actually reset the UNO so just pull the power and put it back in again and you'll see the Atmel device is gone and there's no Arduino but here in sound there is the MIDI Moco Falufa driver and that is what will come up in your door or whatever MIDI application you're wanting to use. Now if you are wanting to uh, use this as a Arduino Uno again you don't have to put the firmware back again because this has a fantastic feature whereby you can uh, simply put a jumper onto this header and, it, and reset the USB and it will turn it into uh, Uno again. So the header goes on these two pins here, it is in the manual, then just reset the power. And now if you look in Device Manager, it's back as an Uno again. And that's all there is to it.